Hey there. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to host your Discord bot on Google Cloud. And we're going to cover how to set up a virtual machine instance and getting the bot to run on that instance. Oh, nice. That sounds pretty cool. I like it. Okay, yeah, I'm glad you do, Arnold. Right, so first of all, Google offers you to host your bot free. And you also get $300 of free credits for one year. But after the trial ends, you can still host the bot for free as long as you meet some usage limit criteria, which you can read more about here. What we are interested in is creating one of these micro instances, but you know, you get access to the whole ecosystem of Google Cloud as well. And you can use those $300 uh, like you get for one year as well for all these cool things if you're interested. So there's definitely a lot of advantages of using Google Cloud. So to get started, you need to log in with your Google account and go to cloud.google.com. And also don't forget to press that sign up button up there in the corner. Yeah, okay, fair enough, but that's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Anyway, yeah, you need to press that button too. And one thing to note is that you will need to find your credit card and specify that information to Google, because otherwise you can't create an account on Google Cloud. And as they write here in frequently asked questions, this is just to verify that you're not a robot and you're not like creating an infinite amount of like these accounts. So don't worry too much about this. You won't be charged even after the free trial ends. You have to explicitly tell Google that you, you, you're willing to get charged. Uh, and if you stay within the usage limits that we talked about before, you won't be charged even after the trial ends. Okay, so once you've done that and you're logged in to Google Cloud, you can go to the dashboard and then click in the menu on the top left and create a new project. So that's what I've done here, or ready to do so at least. Let's just call this project uh, Discord bot, Discord Python bot. And there's no organization, so let's just leave that as it is and press create. All right, so here we are on the dashboard. There's nothing interesting to see yet, but uh, that will change in a minute. So what we need to do is open up the menu on the left, and we want to navigate to Compute Engine, and then VM instances. Now you do have to wait a couple of minutes after creating a new project in order to do this. So I'll be right back when that's, when that's done. All right, there we go. So now we can press create, go ahead and create a new instance. Now it doesn't really matter what you actually choose, I think almost, you can pretty much go with what you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's just go through them all. So I just wrote a name here, first of all, and for the region, I do recommend that you use the one of the regions for the free tier. You know, why not? Might as well. But you can, of course, choose whatever you like. So I'm just going to go with US Central 1 Iowa. And for the zone, I'm just going to stay with this as well. Machine configuration, general purpose uh, series. And then we are going to go down to machine time, actually, and find the F1 micro instance. And this is not something I'm going to change either. The series, let's just go for the F1 micro instance because this is the one mentioned in the free tier. We don't really need to make it more powerful than this. You can actually go, you know, upward to 96 virtual CPU cores, but that's not necessary at all for the bot we're going to run. And you can even, you know, add GPUs if you want. Uh, right, so the boot disk, we are going to use Ubuntu for this. So go to operating system, go to Ubuntu. And then, you know, let's just pick the newest one. You can use an, a different operating system for Linux. It's pretty much going to be the same, whichever you choose, because a lot of the commands are going to be very similar. But Ubuntu is a pretty nice, uh, like Linux distribution. So let's just go with that. And uh, this is fine. So let's select that. Now for the identity and API access, let's just leave this at default. Down here at firewall, we want to actually allow this. I guess you can change this later on as well, but we need to enable some kind of traffic between Discord server and our server. So I'm just going to allow this so we won't have any headaches with that. And that should be it. Let's just hit create. And the instance will be created. It takes a couple of minutes. So after that's done, I'll be right back.
There we go, took less than a minute actually. And now we can actually SSH into this server. So if you go to SSH, you will get a new window. And this is where we can actually start setting up the bot on the virtual machine and running it. All right then, so here we are. We can actually do whatever we normally could on the Linux distribution. This is basically just a virtual machine running Linux on Google server. So you can do whatever you want. You can create files and you can do LS and yeah, all the usual stuff. So pretty sweet. We can do a lot of things. Now to actually run the bot on this instance, we need to transfer the files to this instance somehow. There's a couple of ways you can do this. For instance, you could go to the menu on the top right corner, and press upload file, where you can just navigate to where you have your zip file of the project, let's say. That's one way to do it, just upload it and unzip it. Or if you have it on, let's say, GitHub, uh, then you can use git clone. So, you know, there's different ways you can do this. So in this video, we're going to use the Discord Python bot that we created in the last video, which is public on GitHub. So we can just write git clone on the URL given here, and we, uh, we get the project. Right, so to get this up and running, which is a Python project, by the way, we want to create a Python virtual environment. So let's do that first. And we need to use Python 3 to specify that it's actually Python 3 and not Python 2. Uh, but there are things that are not like installed on this virtual machine. It's just a fresh, uh, like Ubuntu, Linux distribution, uh, like running on this instance. So we need to actually install a few things I can see. But you know, just follow the prompts for what you uh, like. It says what we need to do. So let's just do that. And we should use sudo here, I think sudo app get install python3 vnv there we go no installation candidate all right well that means we need to refresh i think our mirrors so we can actually find the the right package so let's just do that real quick all right so let's run this update command Okay, let's try again. There we go, now it actually works. So let's just continue. Okay. So let's actually create the virtual environment that we wanted to do. So there we go. Activate it as well. So I wrote a readme file to specify how we set this up for the uh, project we created in the last video. And one thing that we like made sure to do was that we didn't include the token in the Git repository. That would be pretty stupid if it's a public repository. All right, so what I did to deal with this was just create a file, keys.py, and then I put the token in there. And that's pretty much it in this case. But of course, depending on how you have the project set up, you might need some different steps. So let's install all the requirements. So I don't think pip is installed um, right now, but let's just try and run the command anyway. So let's try and install. Okay, it is installed. Good. All right, there we go. And we should be able to actually run the bot now. So Python 3 bot.py. And let's see what happens. All right, so here we are on Discord and we can see that the bot is actually running. So we can actually interact with it and it's going to reply like we wanted it to. So it is working like it should. It is running on our server. Now there is one thing here at the end, which is, you know, something quite important. That's like right now it's running and blocking the terminal. We cannot do anything right now. And we cannot like close this down. Otherwise the script is going to stop and the bot will be offline again. So we need to run this in a way where we are not blocking the terminal and we can like close down the SSH connection and all that, and it will still keep on running on the instance. Okay, so this is a command you have to use. No hub, Python 3, 
and then like the name of the bot. And also we want to specify that we want all the standard output to go to this activity.log file, which is quite convenient. And then this ampersand at the end to specify that we don't want it, this to block the terminal. So what this command will do is run our script and now it's running, but we can still do stuff and navigate like around the file system and all of that. But the process is actually running now and we can actually close down the SSH connection and the bot will still run. Let's just exit out of this and go to Discord and here we are. So we just like we exited the uh, session but the bot is still online, so we can still interact with it. And now we have it hosted on Google Cloud 24 seven and it's free. And yeah, happy days, I guess. So that's how you do it. And yeah, you can of course add a lot more features. Uh, right now we don't really have a lot for this bot, but that will change in the future, hopefully with some more videos. But for now, let's just end it here and uh, yeah, take care. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more now. Of course, that's entirely up to you as the viewer. In any case, happy coding. And I'll see you in the next one.